Way back on way the back 5th of September, September 2017, 2017 the question of the universe. The universe. The universe. How, do you, how do you and your base? Your base, your base. How you doing guys? Big Mac Dan School here again today, back once again with another episode of Warhammer 40k. Now, this episode, you may have guessed from the intro, is a video response episode. Now it's a video response episode, a long time in the making, much like my uh, latest project, the Tau Infiltration Cadre. Now, uh, this, was a, this is a video response to a question posed by Pete from Mini Warzone in his Q&S series from the 5th of September 2017. Now he asked the question then, and that was around the time that I uh, sort of took a little break from YouTube. Um, so I'm going to be answering the question now because I did comment on, on that video saying that, um, I'd probably do a video response episode. Um, so yeah, here we go. Here's the video response episode. How do I do my bases? Now basing, um, it's a very, uh, very particular thing. Um, you'll have seen, you may have seen, I should say, from, uh, from the Infiltration Cadre update episode I posted yesterday. Uh, I need to find a way to base these guys, so it's quite a good time for me to uh, do this uh, do this video response, um, because uh, I like to do my bases in various ways. One thing Pete asked was, uh, do you attach the mini to the base, paint it all together, and you know put the basing material on, or do you like to keep them separate, do the bases, and then glue the miniature on when it's fully painted and the base is fully painted at the end? Well, I do I do it both ways really. It depends. Um, depends entirely on what technique I'm using for the basing. So if I'm using, with these guys, um, I wanted to get these painted quickly, these towel guys. So I've glued them onto the base straight away. And what I'll do in that case is put whatever basing material, probably gonna use a Citadel texture paint. I'll put it um, over, um, over the base and probably a little bit over the miniature as well, over the, the foot of the miniature. Um, if I was to do like a, a Martian Iron Earth, um, if I was to use that texture paint, then um, what I'd do is just uh, drag it a little bit over the foot of the miniature deliberately, just to give it that the impression that it's actually it's walking about on that surface, and the the dust from um, the dust from the uh, the sandy irony sandy planet has sort of uh, gone up a little bit onto the miniature, and it sort of ties the miniature to the base. Um, so I do do that. Um, I do do that sometimes. Uh, but other times, I have um, painted the base completely separately. Uh, you may remember from my Death Watch series, um, which was from 2015, I think, or 16, 16 probably. Um, in my Death Watch series, um, I got the Sector Mechanicus bases for that, and I've painted all them bases separately, and I'm gluing the miniature on at the end. Now, that's for um, for a good reason. Well, I'd say it's a good reason. Uh, the reason is um, it's it's a very hard hard surface the sector mechanicus is it's a metallic surface or you know there's some um some like a uh, concrete or plas plastic i guess it might be in 40k uh there's there's all hard surfaces there there's no there's no like um dusty texture to that so it doesn't make sense that the texture from the base would make its way onto the onto the feet of the miniature itself um so there's no need for me to um paint the miniature on the base there so that's why i'd paint the base separately there um, yeah, so that's uh, a couple of the ways I, I do my basing, and I do I do all different types of bases as well. Um, what I try to do, or what I'm going to try and do, is in my Imperial Forces, I'll try and probably uh, keep a lot of it on Sector Mechanicus bases, or the uh, the well, the the Sector Mechanicus bases I think are the newer ones. Sector Imperialis bases is what I'll put my Death Watch on, um, but they're all kind of like you know um, Imperial like Imperium sort of uh, Mechanicum kind of um, kind of theme to the bases. They're all the same sort of texture with like a diamond plate and um, metal walkways and stuff like that. And it's, it's a, a variety of a variety of surfaces that, you know, you, you can paint them in a similar way and it, and it looks like all the same kind of thing. Um, yeah, so with my Imperium, I'll try and keep them all on the same sort of bases with my Eldar when I eventually get around to them again. Um, I'll, I'll, you know, try and use similar basing techniques for the Eldar, including my Harlequins, and my Craftworld Eldar. If I, if I do use my Dark Eldar, um, I'll try and 
give them all a similar sort of base because you know I may I may want to field them all at the same time. Um, with the Tau, uh, I'm not likely to be using them with any allies. I'll just I'll just use uh, the Tau as a separate force. So we'll do them with a unique base. Uh, but with my Orcs, um, I've got various various uh, bases on my Orcs at the minute. But what I want to do is tie them all together with um, with uh, the Martian Iron Earth, which is the way I base them. Um, I think that's a, a nice um, contrast to the to the green tones of the skin, and uh, also the uh, a lot of my orcs are going to be death skulls, uh, which will have blue. Um, the only problem is the goths I've painted. The goths I've painted uh, my oranges the new black oak goths, so their overalls and stuff, they're all orange. <laughs> um, so I maybe need to find a slightly different way to base them, uh, perhaps with something like uh, a Sector Mechanicus base perhaps, um, but then like around the edges, do a bit of the Martian Iron Earth to imply that they're sort of on the same world. Um, but yeah, that's a, a few ways I do my bases basically. Basically, yeah, bases. Um, so that's uh, that's all I wanted to share with you today. Um, let me know how you do your bases in the comments below. And uh, yeah, if you didn't see my video yesterday about the Tau Infiltration Cadre, uh, it's just a little quick update um i am looking for um how you think i should base these um i've got a miniature from grim school studios or a war game exclusive uh, they're both the same company i think um and that's got an urban base on so i'm thinking i'm leaning towards the urban base i could um i could floralize this if you like like by putting a few um like some uh dried herbs on it or put in uh, grass tufts on it to, to make it a bit more like an overgrown ruin of a, of a settlement rather than just an urban setting. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments below how I should base my town. Let me know what you think about um, or what you do with your with your bases. Um, I've seen that obviously if you've got a channel I've seen uh, many of the way people base their miniatures. Um, and um, make sure you check out Pete's channel, uh, Mini Warzone. He's nearly a thousand subscribers now, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, he, he gets regular content up with his uh, his Q and S episode. He asks the audience a question. He can answer in the comments or do a video response, which is what I'm doing, albeit um, a very late video response. Um, and uh, he gets a video a Q a Q and A video up every Monday, and uh, he does hangouts and stuff like that. So make sure you check out uh, Mini Warzone. And um, yeah, thanks very much for watching, guys. I'll see you on the battlefield.